more side. I'm also the one candidate that has a family business that employs over 50 people. We've been in the city for 46 years. Uh, my parents started our business up in East Price Hill, and then uh, we have a warehouse. We've been down in over the Rhine since 78, uh, with our second warehouse being the building next to the drop-in center uh, since the 90s. So all through the 90s, that's where my office was. Uh, and then in 2000, we went to our new facility down in the West End, uh, where we have been, uh, you might, if you go up 75, you might have seen the big duck on the building. Um, so now we have the American flag in honor of the 9 11. Um, so I say that because one of the things with being a part of the family business is the importance that we have always felt to be involved with in the community. So because we have been in communities that are typically underserved, I have been the person mainly from our family who has gone into doing all of the community services. So for the last 20 years, I've been on the Community Council for East Press Hill. I've been on the uh, Press and Oil Economic Council for the last five years, which uh, deals with all of the different Press Hill, Press East, West, and Lower Press Hill. I'm on the Queenscape Business Alliance, the Western Economic Council, uh, and then I'm president of our Business Alliance in East Press Hill. Um, as a lot of you may know, we have a lot of great things happening up there, a lot of positive momentum. A lot of that has happened not so much from the direction of our city, but from people working together, private investors working together, and pushing it forward, knowing, knowing the importance of moving things forward. Um, one of the other things, uh, when I came back, I was blessed and was able to play college on the left of the academic scholarship. I came back and I at Mercy for 10 years, Mercy High School. Um, all of these things are really where my basis comes from. I come from a team environment, a team background, where it's, it's a matter of working together. I'm, I'm in transitional neighborhoods. I see the importance when, when we're talking about, like Mr. Graham was saying, a lot of people are talking about the same things. In the neighborhoods I'm in, we know for a fact it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter how many studies you do, it doesn't matter how many surveys you take. The bottom line is, if you do not have safe streets, you will not have economic development, and vice versa. If you do not have the economic development, because you don't have the healthy neighborhoods, you're not going to get the support. We're not going to be able to grow. As we've all said, downtown is great. If you can take a helicopter and fly in, banks are great, and over the line are great. However, every single street to that, it's like the sun. Every single street going in, show me the street that doesn't have the pothole, that doesn't have the grass, that doesn't have the trash that's in the street, the sidewalks that are crumbling. Those are the basic services that we're missing out on as well. Fortunately for me, for all the community work that I've been doing, I also am a part, I've been part of for like the last seven years on the group called Invest in Neighborhoods, which is the liaison group between the city and the neighborhoods. So fortunately, I've worked with the last 52 neighborhoods, understanding the importance for that. In that, the one thing that is amazing <laughs> is, and the one thing that I think our current council misses, is that no matter what neighborhood you live in, you will always find your neighbor in you who are so passionate about your neighborhood. You love your city. And what better compliment for the city to have? But we don't seem to embrace that. The city itself has incubators, we have investors, we have employers, we have uh, Cincy Tech, we have all of these companies that are coming together that see we have the potential, we have the youth, we have the intelligence, and yet the city's not, the council's not helping these people, the businesses have gone out on the ground and said, listen, we see that we have this wealth. We're sitting on the juggernaut to be, you know, what Silicon Valley is to California, Cincinnati will be to the incubators, matching up your investors with your entrepreneurs, with the people that have been there, the people that have the investments to move the youth forward, to move those people forward, to make the city a much better place to come to. Coming from the small business side, when I listen to the city talk about, hey, we're doing this for you, I always make a compliment. Please stop doing me in favors because it just keeps costing us money. When you talk about what draws people here, the corporations are awesome. However, the heart and soul of every community is your small business. It's the person that's personally invested. It is the group that has physically made the commitment to do that. We, as a family, have for 46 years continue to buy our investments are within the city. We are invested. So when people ask me, why are you running? I just want to get it done. I want to see it move forward. Everybody should have a voice. All the neighborhoods have a right to, to 
Take care. Thank you.